Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays again and I'm in the HSF Halkase, a tier 8 Japanese destroyer. I'm on the map Shanta and it's a free point domination game. So it's a tier 10 panel which is unfortunate but hey there is only one raider but there's a carrier. So I was heading towards the A cap but the carrier came very close so I turned around to, want, uh, to try to avoid the planes and well if they would have attacked I would have been closer to some friendly ships to benefit from the anti-air. Now, the carrier found Viper first, my division mate, and well, Viper got there is attention, or the Viper is escaping into a smoke screen here, it looks like. And I'm back on my way towards A. Now, of course, I've been delayed, which is a shame, because the enemy just sail in there. And now the enemy is... Well, I guess I could speed boost, you're right, because if I don't make it there in time, then the enemy team will get a free cap, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, the only raider here is this Cleveland, but we haven't spotted a Cleveland yet, so I have no idea if it will be around the A side or not. Now, I have to say Cleveland only has a 9km raider, so it's not that big of a deal. There aren't that great positions here for 9km raider, so even if I sail in there and the Cleveland's nearby, I should escape with minimum trouble. Meanwhile, on the other side, the enemy is in sea uncontested. We have the Kiev who is going wide here and providing some spotting. And the Shimakaz from the other side has the same idea as Viper and is going into the center. Now, I've spotted the enemy destroyer here. I'm not gonna shoot because I don't really want to be in this gunfight. Uh, my support is pretty far behind, right? If I shoot here, like the Tiltenburg is a lot closer. I mean, he's currently behind the island, but soon will emerge there. This, this is not a gunfight that I want to pick. Barely any support. And... Like, I can't smoke up because I don't really have... Any spotting then. So anyway. For now, I just want to camp. I'm also very careful, like, the Fantasque could have topped my way. I'm not really located, which means... Doesn't have really location. And that may... If, if the Fantasque topped, it would have been blind, but... You know, he had no reason not to try to top, so I'm still slightly angled against against this. I didn't want to make like a full turn and go in that direction. Now, meanwhile, our Shima, uh, well, our Shima is dead, it looks like. A Viper, on the other hand, has a more careful position here. Like, the Sintenburg has 6 km Hydro, so I presume this Shima got caught by the Hydro, and then, like, with, with the two destroyers, the Shima just got dumped down. Now, what's very nice is that our carrier is actually realizing that this push is happening and our carrier is actually supporting there, dropping planes and, you know, trying to be helpful where he's needed, which is nice. I got the A cap, which is also nice. And we've lost the C cap, which is a bit unfortunate. Especially since, you know, C has this massive island, you can park any ship inside C and contest this cap. It can be a battleship, cruiser, any ship you have, you can just sail in there and contest. Now, of course, you also want to be able to shoot something. This island is not ideal, let's see, but generally you can make it work for a lot of So seeing that go to the enemy team for free is just a shame. Now, meanwhile, I might actually be finally in a position where I can contribute to this battle other than a bit of spotting and taking the A-cap, I guess. So I've got torpedoes going for the Hindenburg, potentially. I'm not entirely sure if the Hindenburg will try to speed through here with full speed or if it's going to slow down. Now, and unfortunately, the carrier has found me. Now, the carrier has found me and I am, you know, pretty close to the Hindenburg. So I'm gonna slow down and smoke here because, well, I mean, the Hindenburg is not really looking at me just yet, but... It also looks like I'm getting a torpedo in there, which is nice, so I'm going to try to get my guns to the mix and... Well... Got one torpid and a few shell hits. Meanwhile, the destroyer that rushed through got taken out by Viper. And the carrier is still here helping. So overall, it's a pretty even game for now. For some reason, our support is still sitting pretty far in the back. I mean, it's pretty clear that there are just the two battleships here remaining in the Hindenburg and they're all aggressively pushing through here. So you would think that our team would be in a position to try to meet them, to try to stop them. Even just try to get shots off, but they, they are discontent. Not participating in this fight just yet. So, 
As I said earlier, Hindenburger 6 came at a high There's a decent chance that it's right now on cooldown because it probably wanted to use it when he was in the end. My anti-air is on, which was uh, an oversight on my part. Now, I'm... <laughs> I have some torpedoes in the... Probably not going to hit. But hey, I managed this dodge, that's nice. So, okay, the hidden book is gone. The hidden book was the big threat because of the 6km hydro, and I wasn't aware uh, if, if it was running or not, and what the cooldown situation would be. So I had to be very careful. Right now, that means uh, I have a free path into B. And then we can torpedo those incoming battleships. Like, this is a Shabbat in the Yamat. They have zero tools of dealing with destroyers in that sense. Like, they, they don't have a radar. It wasn't a very good drop their carrier. So thankfully, the hacker isn't getting off any good drops. And once again, like, our carrier is really spot on here, right? Our carrier has been helping in the center here, defending us with planes, spotting, hunting destroyers. I... You know, I complimented this carry in the end because I was doing really well there. Now, as was saying, like the, the Yamato and the Shabbat, they don't really have any tools of dealing with joy, like they don't have Hydro, they don't have Raider. And, you know, they don't have anyone to spot for them currently. They are in very close quarters, which means the maneuverability is limited and pushing in... Uh, well, okay, they have a uh, carry. So, I mean, I haven't learned my lesson with the anti I guess. But what I do have is a smoke. So, I'm gonna sit in the smoke now, and I mean, I can just shoot those battleships. I have corpse going in, and it, I don't think the Shabbat is going to launch. It doesn't look like it right now. So that's nice, there are also talks coming from the side, I guess, so we caught him in a cross stop there, Viper and me. And well, he got taken out, and what's even better is, one Torp is continuing towards the Yamato. And I mean, it's a Yamato, it's not the most maneuverable thing there is, right? So... There is another Torp, now Yamato is a good Torp belt, so the damage wasn't that impressive, but you know. I have a fire going, uh, so I'm trying to shoot now with... Oh, there is a... I was just saying, I'm trying to shoot a section that's not yet on fire like the end area. But somebody else set the fire there already, so... Let's, let's try the front. Maybe we... Oh, that was pretty good blind shot there from the Yamato. So I've decided, you know what, sitting still here is not the best idea. And I was trying to shoot the nose to start the fire there, but, you know... I mean, the only thing I can really pen, I suppose, is the superstructure anyway, so shooting the nose is not going to be the most profitable thing. Unless I get it, lucky fire. So meanwhile, we are doing well on ships. We are one ship ahead. And we are equal on camps. And now this Yamato is gone, which opens up E for us. So that's going to be lovely. Our Richthofen is placed uh, like on the left side of this island. So he's very close to actually drop. But considering we control the uh, left side here completely, he should be relatively safe. I suppose he can just go forward in here. But he only has a problem if we start losing B or if the enemy starts to get too pushy here, but you know, still have ships. Now the Shabbat and the Thunderer have decided to join. Like, they have figured out where the battle is finally. Also, there is a Cleveland coming this way, so I gotta be careful. I should probably be already turning more away there. Now, Cleveland hasn't raided just yet, so maybe it's some cooldown. Because obviously we are taking this camp, which means like the Cleveland knows there is something in there. That Cleveland had raided probably had used it right now. Thing is, I don't know when it will be ready again. So for all I know, every second now the raider could hop back on. But you know, it's two of us here, and the Cleveland is on low health. There are tops coming in, and the carrier is also helping. Once again, the carrier is just spot on with, with helping us out. And it's so amazing because this almost never happens. Uh, so, you know, there goes the Cleveland, which means no more radar. And at this point, I suppose it's pretty decided. Hey, look, I, I even got another torpid into the Soyuz, I presume. Now, there are two battleships pushing in here, right? The Soyuz and the IOR. And this push, I guess, is the last effort of the enemy team to turn this around. 
And I mean, it could technically work, but the Thunderer is now coming in here. So, I mean, it took the Thunderer a while, but it looks like finally, finally he'll be here. Now, I do have a smoke ready. And, you know, I'm probably just going to use it and then shoot those battleships, because why not? So, I'm hoping for some fights again. Now somebody got a decent hit on the Soyuz, like the Shabbat is also joining the uh, battle now. And the Shabbat will have broadsides on the Soyuz. I mean, the Soyuz is not fire, so... Hoping the Soyuz is no longer necessary in any way or form. Now, we'll have the Iowa to deal with. Don't have vision on the... Oh, there is a vision on the Iowa. Once again, our carrier is around here. So, there's proximity spotting at 2 kilometers. But the way the Iowa is going, I think I can top here and maybe get the top hit before he is close enough and well. Uh, the f I mean, at least the Thunderer showed up with a boom, right? I think that was the Thunderer that just did a lot of damage there. So when the Thunderer finally showed up, I guess, it was with a massive explosion. Yeah, sorta. So, and with, with this push stopped, the enemy team is basically on its knees. And I mean, just look at the minimap for a second and look at all those destroyed ships, right? All of those destroyed ships in the center. It's like, I mean, yeah, sure, there are some ships sprinkled around the right flank, but most ships on both sides have been destroyed in the center, it looks like. This happens so rarely, and it's, it's, it's a nice thing to see, I guess. Well, the enemy carrier is coming here, might as well turn out here. On. And I found the enemy destroyer. Now, of course, uh, he can't talk me, so don't have to be careful about that. And I can just go in there also guns blazing. I had some support there with me. And yeah. Now, now it's just the enemy carrier and the Shimakaze remaining. And you look, the carrier is even close. Maybe we can get ourselves a piece of carrier. Now, of course, with the Thunderer coming in, it's probably the Thunderer that's getting the biggest piece of a carrier. But, you know, I'm happy with, with a tiny slice, tiny bite. So, the carry is running this way. I got a fire, but, you know, it's a carry, so it doesn't matter. Wait, is that carry reversing? Why would it be reversing? No, no, not that it matters, I suppose at this point and I should really just shoot more towards the left here. <laughs> well, got some torps off but it's probably a waste. He, he won't survive long enough for those torps to arrive. Exactly. He has been taken up. And with this, I mean, and just speed up, I uh, got myself slightly beached there for the remainder and now it's just a shimmer and this shimmer is about to go down. And with that, I mean, the, the carrier basically is locked onto the Shimmer, right? So the carrier found the Shimmer, and with that, the Shimmer will go down, and this will be a victory. Which brings us to the results, and I got myself quite a bit of experience out of this, but, you know, our team had three people with over 2,000 experience, which is not something you see that often. We also had an AFK player, so there is that. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys next time.